Hello everybody, this is Mark Wilbur at Tushua.com and this is Phonics Friday number 18 where we learn how to be better teachers of English as a foreign language, especially in terms of phonics and spelling and the relationship between them. Today is about the halfway point of all the lessons I've prepared for you so far. Um, as most of you know, I, I used to run an English as a foreign language teacher. Let me try that again. I used to run the academic side of a, a school for teaching English to native Mandarin speakers in Taiwan for several years. And in the course of that school, I, I built up uh, quite a bit of experience with helping uh, mostly, mostly younger children who are struggling with, with English spelling and phonics. I started at the most common words and moved to less common words uh, when, when looking for places to take the spelling rules. So if you're new to this, this uh, YouTube stream, you'll probably get the most out of going all the way back to Phonics Friday number one or Phonics Friday number two and starting from there. Uh, still, there are a lot of words with the patterns I'm teaching right now. Today is multi-syllabic words that end with L-E or A-L. As I've said many times before, I like to give you a bunch of words and then let you try to figure out the rules. So we've got reversal, disposal, ladle, whittle, paddle, riddle, raffle, noble, normal, uh, medicinal, Wibble and marginal. And poodle. Okay. So, as you can see, the AL at the end of the words is pronounced with just an L sound. We don't say reverse AL or reverse O. It's really just reversal. It goes straight from the S sound, S sound into an L sound. The same is true of LE, ladle. Now what you might notice about the LE sounds is they affect the preceding vowel. Quite a while ago, in Phonics Friday number two, I taught the vowel consonant vowel rule. It makes the first vowel long. For example, the word hop has a short O sound, ah, hop, but hope has vowel consonant E, so it becomes a long O, O, hope. The, oh, let me give you one more thing here, hopping has O, and then it doesn't have uh, a vowel F. It's, it's vowel consonant consonant, so it's still a short O sound. But hoping is vowel consonant vowel, so it's a long O sound. The LE in this case works very similarly. Paddle is a short A, ladle is a long A. So if you have vowel consonant LE, it's a long vowel sound. And to prevent the long vowel sound, we can double up the consonant. So, vowel consonant LE makes the vowel long. And in general, when we see AL or LE at the end, at the end of a multi-syllabic word, so obviously not for a single syllable word like veil or kale. See an A-L or an L-E at the end of the word, it's just an L sound. So the A-L and L-E pattern is one that's, that's somewhat useful for spelling. It's always good to be aware of, of what the possibilities are. It's good for a student to know if they hear the word uh, paddle, that it's probably not just ending with DL, because there's usually something more than that, so they'll, they'll go to LE or AL. But where it's really helpful is pronunciation. A lot of, a lot of learners of English as a second language, especially those that went through uh, a lot of more rigid classroom systems, have a tendency to want to pronounce each individual letter, or, or at best, pair of letters, the way they learned it was pronounced. So instead of saying normal, they might say normal or, or normal. Even if they hear native English speakers saying normal, just because they've learned that 
an A has to be pronounced as an A ah or an A ah or something like that. Uh, similarly, uh, a few Phonics Fridays ago I taught the WOR and WAR patterns. Students might want to say s swarm or swarm instead of swarm because it has an AR and they know AR is R, but actually WAR is war. And if you hear war, you spell it W A R. You don't use W O R. W O R has O R, which is or, in it, but W O R is, is were, like worthy or world or work. So it's, it's not that the patterns they learned are wrong, but they're higher level patterns. And one downside of drilling is people tend to hold on to the patterns that they've learned. And if, you, if you're aware that there's there's a, a bigger chunk that you could be learning, then it's easier for you to hear native English speakers saying normal instead of normal or disposal instead of disposal or, or something like that. So in any case, I, I don't think this is a super high priority pattern to teach, but I would teach it sometime in the first year. That's it for today. Uh, my, my classes at Catalyst have been great. I've learned more about uh, uh, JavaScript and CSS in the last week than I, I have in several months leading up to it, and uh, it's going pretty well. And fortunately, it's, it's six days a week of class, but the one off day I have is Thursdays, so I can still keep recording Phonics Fridays. Have a good week, everyone, and see you next time.